Hey guys, this is your host Rabbit, and welcome to another Conquest of Azeroth 1 to 30 class showcase, today featuring the Knight of Zoroth. The Knights of Zoroth are tanks or melee DPS that use plate armor, they have very high sustain that wield shadow and fire magic, and use rage as a resource. The best way I could explain a Knight of Zoroth would be if you took a Blood Death Knight and mixed it with the Butcher from Diablo 1. Your entire toolkit revolves around fire, blood, meat saws, chains, diseases, all that gory Death Knight-esque theme. With that being said, let's get straight into the starting abilities. Starting off at level 1, we get access to two abilities. The first being Meat Cleaver. It's an instant cast 3.35 second cooldown, deals 170 to 215 physical damage to an enemy and grants you one stack of death fire. Generates 20 rage. We also gain access to Herald of War. It's an ore that you put on yourself that generates 2 rage every 3 seconds and increases your armor penetration rating by 30% of your strength. In addition, it reduces the cooldown of your Meat Cleaver and Meat Saw abilities by 33%, last until cancelled. Only one Herald effect can be active at a time, shares a cooldown with other Herald abilities. At level 4, we gain Flames of Zoroth. It's an instant cast 15 second cooldown. You consume your Deathfire stacks to breathe a Cascade of Hellfire upon your foes. Inflicts fire damage to enemies in a cone in front of you, slowing their attack speed by 40% and spell haste by 30% for 10 seconds. Damage increased by 10% for each stack consumed. At level 5, we get Flay Corpse. It's a 0.5 second cast for a 10 yard range. Consumes the target corpse, healing you for 10% of your maximum health every 1 second for 5 seconds. Once a corpse has been flayed, it cannot be flayed again. Not usable on mechanical or elemental creatures or players. Generates 20 rage. This ability is your primary source of rage when you're running throughout dungeons because you can kill a pack and then flay the entire pack and walk straight into the next one with 100 rage ready to go. At level 7 we get Infernal Strike. It costs 30 rage and is an instant cast. Deals 80% weapon damage to the target. If the target is affected by Flames of Zora, this ability does also deals additional fire damage. Every third use within 30 seconds will call down a Molten Hell Rain, dealing fire damage to enemies in the area for a short time. At level 10 we gain Hell Scream. It's a 10 yard range instant cast on a 20 second cooldown. Increases your attack speed by 40% and heals you for 2% of your maximum health every 1 second for 5 seconds. Also performs an additional effect upon all nearby enemies depending on your active pestilence. At level 11 we gain our second herald, Herald of Defiance. Increases threat generated by physical, shadow, and fire attacks by 50% and allows your hellish rebuke to trigger 2 additional times. Increases your parry rating and block rating by 30% of your strength. Lasts until cancelled. Casting Hellish Rebuke while this is active will also grant you 15% reduced damage taken, and a further 10% reduced fire damage taken for 5 seconds. In addition, whenever you take damage you will generate 5 rage. This effect cannot occur more than once a second. Only one Herald effect can be active at a time, shows a cooldown with other Herald effects. So this is going to be your tanking Herald that you're going to be running if you're ever looking to tank in dungeons or raids. At level 12, we gain Hellish Rebuke. It's a 20 rage instant cast on a 20 second cooldown. Surround yourself with a fiery shield. The next time you take damage, you unleash a blast of hellfire upon enemies within 100 yards, dealing 58 to 66 fire damage. At level 13, we gain our first Pestilence, which is Pestilence of War. It costs 50 rage and is an 8 second cooldown. You summon the Pestilence of War upon yourself for 30 seconds, leeching small amounts of health from enemies every 3 seconds based on your strength. Using Hell Scream will consume this pestilence to instantly leech a large amount of health from enemies within 10 yards based on your strength. Only one pestilence may be active at a time. Shares a cooldown with your other pestilence abilities. At level 14 we gain Snarl, which is just a 12 second taunt and increases your threat generation by 100% for 6 seconds. At 16 we gain our first hard CC in the form of Imprison. It's a 1 second cast on a 1 minute cooldown. Banishes an enemy, preventing all action but making it invulnerable to all spells and attacks for up to 20 seconds. Only one target can be banished at a time. If you imprison a non-elite demon, you trap its soul, causing it to be resummoned by your Hellgate Ritual spell. Fails on exceptionally powerful demons. Do note that we do not get our Hellgate Ritual spell in the 1-30 to range, so this is going to be something that may be used later on, but not right now. 
At level 19, we gain Mutual Agony. It's an instant cast with a 40 second cooldown. You afflict the target with a demonic curse, causing 30% of all damage dealt to your allies within 10 yards of the target to be dealt to them as well. At level 21, we gain the insane PvP ability Flesh Hook. It's an instant cast on a 20 second cooldown, up to 40 yard range. Hook your target to you, inflicting 82 to 86 physical damage, taunting them and generating 10 rage. At level 25, we gain Meat Saw. It costs 25 rage and is a 6 second cooldown. Swing a giant Meat Saw in an arc, dealing 194 to 240 physical damage and applying the Torn Flesh Bleed effect to all enemies within 8 yards, dealing additional physical damage over time. At level 28, we gain another powerful PvP ability in the form of Pestilence of Famine. You summon the Pestilence of Famine upon yourself for up to 30 seconds, reducing the movement speed of nearby enemies by 50%. Using Hellscream will consume this Pestilence to stun nearby enemies for 3 seconds. Only one Pestilence may be active at a time. Shares a cooldown with your other Pestilence abilities. And lastly, at level 30, we gain Hell Hall. It's a instant cast 1 minute cooldown. You bind an enemy target with magical hellfire chains and drag them with you for 4 seconds. Every 0.25 seconds for the duration, the target will suffer 12 to 13 damage and be dragged towards you. This target cannot move for the duration of the effect. Targets that cannot be stunned or rooted cannot be dragged either. My overall impression of the Knight of Zoroth is that they are an extremely fun and very powerful pick for the classes. They start strong at level 1 and they stay strong all the way through 30, excelling in PvP and PvE. You are able to solo dungeons extremely early and you have high amounts of sustain that will just carry you through the entire thing, so this was one of the fastest classes that I went from 1 to 30 on. You are also extremely powerful in PvP, and this is due to your toolkit revolving heavily around CC, slows, pulls, and heavy forms of damage. Now that we've covered all the abilities and I've given you my impressions of the Knight of Zoroth, let's get into some PvP clips so you can see just what this class is really about. <sighs> Fresh meat.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Just believe me when I say that if you decide to go the Knight of Zoroth as your main class, you're going to be completely dominant in every form of content that this game has to offer. You're going to be a very sought-after tank in PvE, and you're going to be extremely useful in both battlegrounds and arenas for PvP. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell down below. That way you'll be notified whenever I post my next video. This is your host, Rabbit. Thanks for watching.